morning, Cardinals fans. It's been a minute. And for real, this time, we need to talk. A lot has happened since the last time we talked, and a large majority of that has not been, well, good. The Cardinals learned that Alex Reyes is done for the year after yet another season-ending surgery, this time on a frayed tendon, clarifying what the severity of that enigmatic lat injury was. Very, very severe. And that called into question, well, a lot of things. The field and medical staff's handling of major league athletes. The transparency, or lack thereof, from major league athletes. And the career trajectory of perhaps the greatest pitching prospect in the Cardinals organization since Rick Ankiel was a major league athlete. Talk about a demoralizing blow. Then, Cardinals Nation mourned the loss and celebrated the life of the legend that is, was, will forever be Red Shandies. And I learned a few things. I don't know nearly enough about Red. I don't have nearly the personal connection to him as many who actually watched him play or manage, much less those who were friends and family of Red personally. But I also learned that I don't like thinking about spring training or opening day without him. And I can only dream that my life will have an impact on a fraction as many people. I mean, that's all I could think about as I watched old people and young people and everyone in between pay their respects out front of Bush Stadium at the Red Shandy statue, leaving memorabilia or flowers or cards. How remarkable of a person was he to be so great that generation after generation stands in awe of who you were, of who you are, of who you will always be to the world, at least to their world. Red's story may have started with baseball, but it's clear that in the end it was about so much more. And that loss hurts. But that life? That deserves to be celebrated. And then back on the field, the Cardinals dropped two of three to the Miami Marlins, who are duking it out with the Cincinnati Reds for worst team in the NL honors. And the Cardinals lost that series in spectacular fashion. I mean, Jed Jerko pitched. That's how bad it was. If you like pain and misery and suffering, but missed any of those terrible games, you should check out Birds on the Black, where my man Stu did what I certainly didn't take the time to do and recapped each one in all of its blazing glory. And even winning two of three from the Reds this weekend still kind of felt like a loss, in part because it was the first loss to the Reds all year, but also because the Cardinals continued losing pitchers. Tyler Lyons went down, Ryan Sheriff went down, surprise! And Carlos Martinez still just isn't himself yet. And while Marcelo Ozuna looks more and more like the hitter the Cardinals thought they were getting, Dexter Fowler and Colton Wong still aren't hitting much at all, and Tommy Pham is still a little off. Quick side note. Anyone remember the Leave Britney Alone video from, what, like a decade ago? That's how I feel about the Fowlers. Look, I know that people who try to tell other people how to fan are annoying, but I will tell anyone who asks, and let's be honest, probably some people who didn't ask, that attacks, personal attacks on or at, don't at the players, a player or their family members, is so far across the line that it's mind-boggling to me that we're continuing to have this conversation. I'm not suggesting that criticism of play is unacceptable. I'm just asking that we all remember that the player behind that criticism is just as much a person as you are. That's all I'm asking for. But anyway, so yes, since we last talked, the calendar has flipped to June and the Cardinals sit in third place in the NL Central behind the Brewers and the Cubs. And if you're the kind of person that likes to keep track of the wildcard race before the All-Star game, they're also one game back of Atlanta for that second wildcard spot. And the truth of the matter is they're still 
not really playing at full strength, and they haven't been for like ever. I mean, it could be worse. It was last year. It could definitely be better. Thanks, Captain Obvious. And it's all just kind of exhausting. Cardinals, Twitter, it's not you, it's me. I just, I need a little space and a little time to clear my head and mostly clear my schedule. But maybe when the time is right, it'll be different. Only time will tell. But for real, y'all, my life is kind of crazy right now on way too many levels. I apologize for having to step back and kind of bail on the regular hashtag quality content, but it's one of those things where I have to do the grown-up thing and like prioritize, take a minute, sort things out before I can come back at full strength myself. But when I do, I'll tell you all about last night, whatever night that may be.